evening and welcome to Magic Bedtime Stories. Today we find ourselves on a real construction site here in Gothenburg, Sweden, surrounded by fascinating machines and really great workers. Niklas, can you smell the air and the scent of new construction? Yeah, wow, it smells like concrete. That's right. We've had the privilege of spending the whole day among excavators, dump trucks and bulldozers, and we've learned a lot about how to build houses and roads. Talk about an educational and exciting experience. I know, right? I got to sit in a bulldozer and pretend I was driving it. That sounds amazing. Builders are real heroes who help us in our everyday life. What was that sound, Ida? Haha! I thought we would start today's episode with a real construction site quiz. Oh, construction site quiz. I love quizzes. What is it about? Today we're going to test your knowledge of construction machines and building techniques. I'm going to ask three questions and you can guess the answers. Let's see who knows the most about construction sites. <laughs> that sounds fun. Okay, we're ready. Okay, here we go. Question one. What machine is used to lift heavy materials to high heights on a construction site? Hmm, I think it might be a crane. Correct answer, Niklas. A crane is used to lift materials and equipment to high heights. Good job! Question 2. What is the machine called that flattens the ground and makes it even before construction? It must be a roller. Exactly, Tobias. You were good at this. A roller is used to level and compact the ground. Perfect answer. We may not look like we know much about vehicles, but we actually know a lot. Can you answer this third and final question then? What technique is used to dig out large amounts of earth quickly and efficiently? Hmm, it sounds like a job for an excavator. Correct again. An excavator is invaluable for quickly digging out large amounts of earth. You are really knowledgeable on the subject. Impressive! This was really fun, Ida, and we learned something new too. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, let's dig deeper into tonight's facts about another vehicle that's good to have on a construction site, namely the bulldozer. I'm printing out the facts for you here. Thanks a lot, Ida. Then it's time for today's facts about bulldozers. Bulldozers are big, powerful machines built for pushing things around. They have a giant metal blade at the front, like a super-sized shovel, to move dirt, rocks, and other stuff. Bulldozers are super strong and made to handle the roughest jobs. They can move heavy things people can't budge and work on bumpy, muddy ground. Instead of regular tires, bulldozers roll on big metal tracks, just like a tank. These tracks help them move over bumpy ground without getting stuck. Bulldozers play a big part in building stuff. They clear land for new roads, level fields for farming, and even help build houses. Sometimes, bulldozers get to have fun too. You might see them racing each other, or even crushing old cars in monster truck shows. Wow, that was impressive. Yes, dump trucks are really fascinating machines. Yeah, thank you for the facts, Ida. It was both fun and uh, quite uh, educational. Now we've learned a lot about bulldozers, but now it's time to look forward to tonight's story. Tonight's story was requested by Oliver, a three-year-old boy from Melbourne. He loves cars and other vehicles, and he asked for a story about just that. He wanted to hear a story about a car that gets lost and goes on a big adventure, helping other vehicles out of trouble and making new friends with trucks, trains and even a boat. Thank you, Oliver, for your uh, request. We will tell you the story right away. We really will. I'm printing it out here. Thank you, Ida. Then it's time for tonight's story. The Heroes of Motor City. 
Vinny was a little red car with big friendly headlights and an even bigger heart. He was the happiest car in all of Motor City, always whistling a jaunty tune and flashing a smile at everyone he passed. Vinny loved nothing more than helping out and making his city a better place. Now, Vinny wasn't exactly the smartest car in Motor City. In fact, he was always getting lost. One sunny morning, Vinny was on his way to deliver a stack of pizzas to the school children for their picnic lunch. He'd done this a hundred times, but today something felt different. He blinked and squinted at the road signs. Hmm, left at the fire hydrant, right at the big oak tree, or was it left at the bakery? Oh dear, Vinny scratched the top of his hood. He always did that when he was confused. Before he knew it, Vinny was sipping along a road he'd never seen before. Well, this certainly isn't the way to the school. Vinny chuckled nervously. He was a little scared, but more than that, he was excited. Getting lost always led to the most amazing adventures. Vinny kept driving. He whizzed past fields of sunflowers and a funny-looking farm with cows that had spots instead of stripes. At last, he came to a stop in front of an enormous blue puddle. It stretched as far as the eye could see. Hmm, I've never seen a puddle this big, he thought. It must be a lake. Just then, Vinny heard a strange chugging noise and a long, mournful, Toot! He peered around the edge of the lake and gasped. A huge yellow school bus had one of its wheels stuck deep, deep in the mud. The bus driver was trying to yank it free, but the bus just wouldn't budge. Those poor children, Vinny said, his engine revving in sympathy. I've got to help them. Vinny was always up for a challenge, no matter how small he was. He took a deep breath, well, as deep a breath as a car could take. Then he zoomed forward, right down to the muddy edge of the lake. Don't worry, Vinny shouted to the bus driver. I've got something that might help. He dug around in his trunk and pulled out a heavy tow rope. Now Vinny was tiny compared to the big bus, but he tied the tow rope around his bumper anyway. He pulled and pulled, his little engine sputtering with all its might. The mud squished and squelched, but the bus didn't move an inch. Vinny huffed a big cloud of disappointed smoke. It seemed hopeless. Just when he was about to give up, Vinny heard a jolly rumble. Well, shiver me timbers, he heard a voice boom. If it isn't a little car trying to pull a big old bus out of the muck. Vinny spun around, his wheels squeaking. A gigantic tow truck with a big booming laugh was rumbling over the hill towards him. I'm rusty, the tow truck bellowed, flashing Vinny a wide grin. And who might you be? My name's Vinny. The little car replied, trying to sound brave. I was trying to help the bus, but it's awfully stuck. Rusty laughed again, a cheerful sound that made the bus stop shaking in its muddy tracks. Stuck she is, happens to the best of us. But don't you worry, little fella. Together, we'll have her out to there in no time. The tow truck positioned himself in front of the bus. And together, he and Vinny pulled with all their might. Vinny puffed and chugged, Rusty roared and revved, and slowly, ever so slowly, the bus began to inch forward. The children on the bus cheered loudly, waving out the windows and thanking the two unlikely heroes. With a final mighty heave, the bus lurched free from the squishy mud. 
The driver hopped out and shook Vinny's hood, then gave Rusty a grateful hug. We can't thank you enough, the driver said. Now those youngsters won't miss out on their picnic. Vinny and Rusty beamed with pride. They were quite a team. But Vinny was still very, very lost and needed to find his way back home. You wouldn't happen to know the way back to Motor City, would you? Asked Vinny, feeling just a tad sheepish. Rusty chuckled. Motor City, eh? Now there's a trip. Follow me, little fella. I'll get you back on track. And so, with his new friend Rusty leading the way, Vinny headed back through the sunny fields, past the spotty cows and right into the heart of Motor City. But that wasn't the end of his adventures. Just outside the city limits, there was a huge traffic jam. Cars were honking impatiently and trucks were beeping in frustration. Whatever could be the matter, Rusty wondered aloud. He and Vinny drove up to the front of the traffic jam. A big delivery truck had broken down in the middle of the road, blocking all the traffic. I have an idea, cried Vinny. Working together, Rusty and Vinny helped the delivery truck get to the side of the road. Once the road was clear, the cars and trucks cheered as they were finally able to get moving again. At last, with the sun starting to set, Vinny was dropped off back at his cozy little house. He was exhausted, covered in mud, but his heart was overflowing with happiness. Getting lost had led to the most extraordinary day. He'd helped a bus, made a new friend, and even stopped a traffic jam. Sometimes the best adventures happen when you take a wrong turn. What an exciting story. Oliver, we hope you have enjoyed it. I loved it. I want to be a dump truck driver when I grow up. Yeah, it was a real car experience, this story. And now, my friends, it is time to conclude tonight's episode. We hope you have had a magical time with us on the construction site and in the world of stories. Sleep well and dream sweetly of dump trucks, excavators and heroic cars. Good night.